Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week in our walk through the Bible, we're looking at the story of Moses. Yesterday, I spoke about how for the Hebrew people, things seemed to get worse before they got better. When Moses approaches Pharaoh and asks for permission to take the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, Pharaoh hardens his heart and he treats them even more harshly. We find out at the end of that encounter that it was all part of God's plan. I talked about how for us, things seem sometimes to get worse before they get better. And God's plan is hard for us to understand, but God is indeed always working for our salvation. When it came to the Hebrew people, God had to resort to some extreme measures to change Pharaoh's mind. He sends plague after plague, ultimately sending the tenth plague, the death of all firstborn males in the land of Egypt. On the night that the angel of death is to come, God instructs the Hebrew people to eat a special meal and paint lamb's blood on the lintels of their doors. With this sign, the angel of death passes over their household, leaving them unscathed and ready to leave Egypt. Our scripture today comes from Exodus 13, starting at the third verse. Then Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of slavery, for by the strong hand the Lord brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten today in the month of Abib. You are going out, and when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your fathers to give you a land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen with you, and no leaven shall be seen with you in all the territory. You shall tell your sons on that day, it is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt, and it shall be to you a sign on your hand and a memorial between your eyes that the law of the Lord may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this statute and at its appointed time from year to year. This is the Passover meal. God establishes the meal when he brings them out of Egypt. And every year following, the Hebrew people celebrate that Passover meal. It's a wonderful reminder of what God did for them. We know from the New Testament that even Jesus celebrated the Passover. And today, those of Hebrew descent still celebrate this meal as a reminder of what God did for them that day, bringing them out of Egypt, out of slavery, making them his chosen people. We should do the same thing. Keep a tradition that we pass down to our children a reminder of what God did for us. We do it on Easter and Christmas, but we should do it more frequently, reminding our children and our families of the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ, that gift from God, that grace. I think the Passover is a beautiful tradition, a beautiful reminder of who God is and what he does. It's a reminder for us also one that we can keep in our hearts. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. If there's anything I can do for you, please feel free to reach out to me via email at wilson at blcdelmar.com. Hopefully you found some encouragement, some reassurance in this message. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.